KSDK has covered many flash floods over the past 75 years, and one of the most powerful had nothing to do with the weather. Justina Cornell takes us back to the 2005 Tom Suck failure in Reynolds County, about 120 miles southwest of St. Louis. The year was 2005. On December 14th, the pump failed at Ameren UE's Tom Sock Upper Reservoir. It sent more than a billion gallons of water rushing into Johnson's shut-ins state park. There were no visitors in the campground at the time. The park superintendent's house was swept from its foundation with him, his wife, and three children inside. They were rescued a quarter of a mile away. I could hear the ranger on the far end of this field down here uh, hollering for help but I never heard his wife or, or anybody else. All of them survived. She was sitting up, had the baby in one arm, had her leg underneath her, the other baby was across her leg, and uh, she was covered in debris. Maxine Walker and her husband lived across the highway from the superintendent. The rushing water came within three feet of their house. They were sleeping when the breach happened and woke up to a loud noise that sounded like a jet. The sound was just something you wouldn't believe. The water eventually made it into the lower reservoir. I had a solid wall of water coming down the highway and hit the front of my car and shoving me backwards. Amarin admitted it was responsible for the collapse because monitoring equipment was improperly maintained. A Reynolds County judge ordered the utility to pay $180 million in cash and property. Ameren rebuilt the reservoir. It reopened five years after the disaster. The new structure is made entirely of concrete with built-in safeguards and around-the-clock on-site monitoring. A total renovation of Johnson's shut-in state park was completed in 2014. Our anniversary coverage continues online. You can find all kinds of fun facts and historic footage at ksdk.com slash 75.